More Filipinos were dragged into poverty last year as the economy grappled with the COVID-19 pandemic. To address the growing poverty rate, the government says it will be focusing on creating more jobs and boosting economic recovery. Mon Guavez with the big story. Joy tries to mix end meat by scavenging. She takes home around 300 pesos a day. They originally lived in Bagong Silang in Caloocan, but chose to stay in Quezon City. She also tried other jobs, but got laid off because of the pandemic. Kakain sa isang araw, dapat tatlong beses, di ba? Isang beses na lang sa isang araw. Joy's family is one of the 18.1% or about 20 million Filipinos who are part of poverty incidents or those who aren't earning enough to sustain daily needs. This is higher compared to the 17.7% tallied in 2018 or over 17 million poor Filipinos. The National Economic Development Authority or NEDA said the latest figure did not come as a surprise. The effects of the COVID-19 pandemic including income and employment losses, caused the poverty incidents to rise. Restrictions on mobility and low earning capacity of poor households due to limited access to regular and productive jobs made the lives of Filipinos difficult. Neda said if it weren't for the pandemic, the country could have tallied a lower poverty rate of 15.5 to 17.5 percent. The Bangsamoro region tallied the highest poverty incidence with almost 30 percent, while Metro Manila had the lowest with just over 2 percent. This is because of the different poverty thresholds per region. In NCR, you need at least 13,741 pesos to sustain the needs of a family of five to not be considered poor. Region 4B or Mimaropa has the lowest poverty threshold with 10,967 pesos. In 2021, a Filipino family with five members needed around 12,030 pesos on average per month to meet their basic food and non-food needs. But the question is, will that amount still be enough given the inflation or the rate of price hikes? We'll be uh, uh, recomputing the poverty threshold for 2023 and given the increase in uh, food uh, inflation in particular, we expect that the poverty threshold will also increase. With this, NEDA plans to focus on strengthening the sectors of manufacturing, tourism, services, and creative industries. They also want to rev up agriculture and production. Their target now is to reduce poverty incidence by 9% until 2028. For News 5, Mon Gualvez, We Are One News.